Yeah, what's up, man? This is Boxing Combo. I was just watching the uh, Latin Billboard Awards. I was just watching a performance by Ruben Blavis, one of my favorites. Anyhow, I wanted to talk about the fi about some sort of fight that's gonna happen called Felix Trinidad versus Bernard Hawkins. Felix Trinidad, better known as Tito Trinidad. Tito, Tito. I think that was an incredible champ. It was great while well, lasted, but it's just past his time, you know, it's just past his time, this rematch, I heard they want to have a rematch, it just, if it would have been five, six, or even a year after the actual fight, I would have supported it, because I knew, and I understood, Trinidad had a chance to beat this guy, you know, he really did, you know, even during the fight they had, he actually got to tag him with a straight, with a straight right, I believe it was, and Hopkins was just went to La La Land, and the referee just jumped in the middle of the fight, and he started pulling his pants up, and I'm like, you know, what's up here, you know, what's going on, you know, so, they were trying to, I don't know, you know, whatever, yeah, everyone has their opinion, but I think that was just unnecessary, you know, you know, you know how hard it is to catch Hopkins with a flush punch, extremely hard, you never actually can get Hopkins with a flush punch, and Trinidad actually caught him with a flush punch, and Hopkins just, just stood there like, whoa, you know, he, he was actually dazed, so that was the moment for Trinidad to just jump on him, and the referee jumps in the way and starts pulling his pants up. So, how can he explain that? I don't know. Anyhow, if it would have, if it would have been the rematch, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten months after that fight, great fight, great rematch. But now, you know, now man, just Trinidad is just, just too unactive. You know, he, he you know, after that fight he comes back, he retires, he comes back. Retires and goes back for one, two, three years and comes back again. It's just, you know, it's just not really good for a fighter, especially when you get older, to be so unactive. And then I've heard that this guy is a real big eater. Even in a newspaper today, his, his face was round like a circle. That's how fat he is. So, you know, for, for him to actually get back and, you know, to condition his, his body, to get back at weight, for him to actually come up with a strategy and a game plan, it would take him like a, it would take him like a year. I, you know, I don't see this fight as a good fight. So I'm a big fan and supporter of Trinidad because he, he's a real humble cat. This guy was sitting in the rain signing autographs. That's how, how much of a humble cat this guy is. You know, I, he reminds me of Manny Pacquiao or Ricky Hatton. and these are all people's champs. That's why I like him so much. But you got to face the facts. You know, Trinidad has been off too much. You know, it seems like he has an eating problem, and, you know, Hopkins, he's 45, he's older, but he keeps in shape. This guy's always training. You know, this guy's a gym rat. He's always in shape. And on top of that, this guy's probably one of the most intelligent cats I've seen in the game. So, you know, I hope this fight doesn't even happen, and if it does, I think Hopkins is going to knock Trinidad out like in two rounds. So let's see what's up. Let's see what's happened. Let's see what happens. I hope that doesn't fight happen. That was just a real quick bit. I wanted to do that because I read that in a newspaper and I'm like, oh my god. Everyone in the barber shop today was like, oh my god. Who in the hell thought of this? Don King trying to revive his promoting career. That's all we thought. So peace, boxing combo. I'll catch you on the next bit, man. Much respect to the whole boxing fan.